So now that we have written our code and it's time for us to execute this code and see how it actually is going to work. So in order to do that, I'm going to click this run test over here. And you will notice that the browser just opened up and the test just got hanged and it is not running at all. And the reason why this is not running is because we have made a copy paste code error within our driver over here. So if I just go to the driver.cs file, you will notice that we are actually using the usings var playwright over here. So basically if you use a usings keyword in C sharp, it means that you are actually disposing the object of the playwright over here itself. So basically, if you go out of this particular method, which means that particular object, just nothing but the playwright object is already been disposed and the disposed playwright object page that you, if you try to access, then it's not going to work. And that's the reason you are getting this exception of the timeout over here. So how do you fix this particular problem? Well, we already have the answer. Just try removing the using keyword from here so that you will have that particular code being executed without any problem. So I'm going to run this code and see what's going to happen now. You will see that the browser has opened and it is entering the username and password and it also verifies if that particular employee list exists in the page or not. So if you try to make this as false and then if you try to run this particular code, you will see that this code is going to fail. So basically this time the code is actually working as expected and that proves the point that our integration with specflow and playwright is completely done using the driver pattern of specflow. So that's about it, about how you can integrate your code with Playwright along with specflow integration and how you run the test. But there will be some other questions coming up from students asking like, how do I run the same code in parallel execution? So in order to do that, we are going to be doing it in our next video to understand how things work.